So, Ghana is partnering with South Korea to advance in the manufacturing of drones and training programs for drone pilots to further boost Ghana's aviation profile in a regulated framework. On June 24, 2025, the Ghana Civil Aviation Authority signed a landmark agreement with South Korea's Transportation Safety Authority at the Kutuka International Airport, launching a roadmap to advance Ghana's drone sector. This partnership harnesses South Korea's expertise to drive innovation and position Ghana as a drone technology leader in West Africa. So I'll be delving into this collaboration, what it entails, its roadmap, vision and impact as well as its promise for Ghana's future. So join me till the end as you would not want to miss the details on Ghana's drone collaboration which is just launching. Before we commence however, hit the like button and also subscribe to this channel so as to not miss any details on Ghana's development. Let's get right into it. On June 24, 2025. At the Ghana Civil Aviation Authority headquarters in Kutuka International Airport, Ghana and South Korea formalized a partnership to develop the first ever comprehensive drone sector roadmap. This agreement, part of South Korea's official development assistance program, is led by KOTSA, a quasi-government agency, under South Korea's Ministry of Land, Infrastructure and Transport, a Korean delegation including researchers Cho Jo Young, Dan Ji Hang, and Professor Lee Byung Sao from Sun Chun Yang University's Drone Security Strategy Institution visited Ghana to formalize cooperation details and survey the drone ecosystem. The drone sector roadmap and candidate project formulation, set to start in 2025 this very year and run for eight months, will establish a structured sustainable framework for drone operations. Aligned with Sustainable Development Goals, this initiative prioritizes education, healthcare, infrastructure, as well as human resource development, marking a bold step towards technological progress. The roadmap aims to modernize and regulate Ghana's growing drone sector, with drones increasingly vital for transportation and service delivery. The partnership focuses on creating a robust regulatory framework and enhancing safety management. The Ghana Civil Aviation Authority is integrating drone activities with the National Air Traffic Management System using advanced software solutions. The collaboration outlines three future projects, a regulatory framework, and drone safety management project, a drone pilot training program, as well as a drone industry ecosystem development project. Kotsa will also lead three initiatives, that is the drone sector advancement project for regulatory enhancements and an advanced drone application pilot training program, as well as a drone ecosystem integration and innovation project. These efforts all aim to ensure safe, efficient drone operations positioning Ghana as a regional leader in drone technology. This partnership with South Korea will transform critical sectors like healthcare, agriculture and infrastructure. Drones will streamline medical deliveries, improve agricultural monitoring and support infrastructural inspections. The roadmap emphasizes regulatory framework to ensure safety across these applications. The drone sector advancement project will also strengthen oversight, while the pilot training program will build expertise for advanced drone applications. The ecosystem integration project will also foster innovation, connecting industries through technology. Community engagement in regions like Kumase ensures local support. The regulatory gaps could delay this progress. Social media also highlighted the need for environmental safeguards in drone operations. And Ghana is a country where drones will revolutionize industries, enhancing efficiency and opportunity. This is a technology-driving progress. The dual initiative prioritizes community benefits in regions like Volta and Northern. Drones will improve access to healthcare and market, supporting the local livelihoods. Training programs will also equip the youths with skills in drone operations, fostering technological expertise. Women are a significant part of agricultural workforce and they will benefit from enhanced monitoring capabilities. Educational institutions will also integrate drone technology into curricula and funding for the eight-month roadmap. The Ghana Civil Aviation Authority's oversight will ensure that this project is very transparent, while firms dabbling in the sale of drones will also contribute to the project's execution, building the national capacity. Korean expertise in drone safety, backed by Kotsa's track record, guarantees quality. The roadmap is set to conclude by early 2026 and will pave the way for future projects. Ghanaians will learn to deliver medical supply to underserved communities, which are normally not reached using drones.
challenges in this are all being addressed by regulatory gaps to avoid the delays. This effort is being meticulously planned because international collaborations such as this with foreign expertise will deliver a sustainable drone ecosystem for Ghana. Many people don't envision what this could impact in the nation, but the Ghana Civil Aviation's leadership and our Reverend Stephen Wilson Atta drives this initiative to its fullest potential, building an existing drone regulation. The Ghana Civil Aviation Authority will ensure the safety and integration into the air traffic system. Coastal's involvement, led by their experts like Cho Jong Yong, reflects South Korea's confidence in Ghana's vision. The partnership also aligns with Ghana's tech driven goals, incorporating digital air traffic management, engagement with the locals for training, and also for community buy in. This project is soon to be a success because of the collaboration and oversight of South Korea, bridging the scale gaps which might be evident. The fusion of leadership and global partnership is forging a legacy of innovation for Ghana's drone sector. The drone roadmap will also enhance lives across Ghana in northern region. Farmers will benefit from drone-assisted agriculture, while Greater Accra will see improved service delivery. Educational institutions in whole will also adopt drone technology for learning and healthcare facilities in Tamale will also leverage drone deliveries. Environmental risks like battery disposal require mitigation strategy but is not something that's beyond our capability. This is Ghana building a legacy of progress through technology. This is a new era where Ghana is intending to utilize drones. This initiative marks a historic moment. Ghana's drone sector is emerging and advancing with South Korea's help. The 2025 agreement with Kota is a turning point, building on past efforts to regulate drone imports and usage. But this time, Ghana is leveraging South Korea's expertise. The project is establishing Ghana as a pioneer in drone technology in this sub-region of Africa. It's a testament to Ghana's resilience in redefining innovation for 2025 with focus on safety and sustainability. Ghana's drone sector advancement is not in the least bit surprising as global drone investment is rising and Ghana is also acting to lead in West Africa. The Ghana Civil Aviation Authority and Coastal's partnership addresses this delay, ensuring momentum starts in 2025 to 2026. This is Ghana seizing a vital moment and advancing in the technological landscape. Ghana's drone roadmap sets the stage for innovation with the project advancing with Ghana's ambition. It's a foundation for progress and it's to position Ghana as a drone hub in West Africa. Whilst this roadmap and training program from South Korea is doubled in and completed, this is a legacy of technology, a new era of opportunity, and a transformative milestone. Ghana's partnership with South Korea to develop and advance its drone sector is a bold vision. This is fostering innovation, safety, and progress in the healthcare, agriculture, and what have you. It's a moment of national pride, shaping a tech driven future. What are your thoughts on the partnership between Ghana and South Korea to develop and advance Ghana's drone sector to be of help in health, agricultural and other sectors? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and like this video to inform others and also if you are excited about Ghana's development. Subscribe to this channel to stay updated. Click on this next video on other advancements being made by Ghana. Thank you and on to the next video. Be sure to check this next video out.